We begin tonight with developing news. Just a few hours ago, a grand jury indicted Hunter Biden on federal firearms charges. It is yet another chapter in a legal saga surrounding President Biden's son. Crime News' Mark Hanrahan is joining us here in the studio now as we are breaking down these new charges. Mark? Whitney, the president's son, is facing three criminal counts related to his possession of a firearm. The indictment was handed down by a federal grand jury in Delaware. It alleges Hunter Biden, quote, knowingly made a false and fictitious written statement when he bought a gun in 2018 and unlawfully possessed it as a drug user. These new charges come a little more than a month after the Justice Department appointed a special counsel after an earlier plea deal fell apart over questions about an unusual diversion agreement. A CBS legal expert explains where these new charges come from. And they all relate to false statements on a federal form in which Hunter Biden purchased weapons and he said, I am not using drugs when in fact he was using drugs. If convicted of the gun charges, Hunter Biden could face a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison and fines up to $750,000. In a statement, Hunter Biden's lawyer accused the special counsel of bending to political pressure. This indictment comes as congressional Republicans launched a formal impeachment inquiry into President Biden, centered in large part over Hunter Biden's business dealings. Now, so far, no hard evidence of any wrongdoing by the president has been uncovered. In the studio tonight, I'm Mark Hanrahan, Krem 2 News.